Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's an interesting equation. The square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x is equal to the cube root of x. The challenge is to solve for all real values of x that satisfy this equation. I saw this problem on PK Math Shorts. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To get started, I will first review the formula for the difference of squares. Here's a fun geometric way to understand the formula. We start out with one square with a side length equal to x and its area is equal to x squared. Then we have another square with a side length equal to y and its area will be equal to y squared x squared minus y squared will be the difference in areas of these squares. So that's one way we can solve for x squared minus y squared. Let's now solve for the area in another way geometrically. So we will break this shape down into different rectangles. Here we have a rectangle with one side equal to y and the other side equal to x minus y. The other rectangle will have dimensions of x and x minus y. So let's line up the sides that have dimensions of x minus y. We'll slide this rectangle over and then we will just turn it around this corner so we will join these two rectangles. So we now have a shape that's a rectangle where one side has a length that's equal to x minus y and the other side has a length that's equal to x plus y. So we have exactly the same area of x squared minus y squared but it's equal to the area of this rectangle which is equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y. And that's where the formula comes from. Let's also review the formulas for the sum and difference of cubes. So here's the difference formula and here's the sum formula. There's a fun way to see this geometrically. Let's take one cube with a side length equal to x so that its volume is equal to x cubed. Take another cube with a side length equal to y and its volume will be equal to y cubed. The difference of volumes of these cubes will be equal to x cubed minus y cubed. We will now derive the volume as the sum of the volumes of three rectangular prisms. So here is the volume of one rectangular prism. It will have dimensions of x, x, and x minus y. So its volume will be equal to x squared multiplied by x minus y. We have another rectangular prism here with side lengths that are equal to x, y, and x minus y. So this volume will be xy multiplied by x minus y. We have one more shape here, and its dimensions are y, x minus y, and y. So this volume will be equal to y squared multiplied by x minus y. We just need to work through this equation to get the formula. So on the right side, all three terms have a factor of x minus y. So let's factor that out. So we have x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared. And this is the difference of cubes formula. In order to get the sum of cubes formula, all we have to do is make a substitution. Let's take this same formula and let y be equal to negative z. This is like a buy one get one free coupon. We just substitute this in and we're going to simplify this equation. The cube of opposite of z is equal to the opposite of z we subtract that and that will become plus z cubed. Then negative a negative z will be a positive z. Then we have a plus x times a negative z, so that's minus xz. And finally the square of the opposite of z will be equal to z squared. And now we have the sum of cubes formula. x cubed plus z cubed is equal to x plus z multiplied by x squared minus xz plus z squared. So now let's solve the problem originally. So we have this equation and we have a square root on the left side that's nested and we have a cube root on the right hand side. So we want to do something to simplify this equation. So there are two strategies we're going to adopt. First, we'll get rid of the cube root by substitution and then we'll get rid of the square roots by squaring both sides. So let's start out by making a substitution. U is equal to the cube root of X. So that means u cubed is equal to x. 
So on the right hand side, we can substitute that this is equal to u. Then on the left hand side, we have an x term. So we're going to substitute u cubed right there. So now how are we going to simplify this equation? We need to get rid of the square roots. So we'll square both sides of the equation. Now we still have one more square root, so we need to simplify this. Let's move the one term to the right hand side. Now we have u squared minus one. Now notice that one is equal to one squared. So this is basically a difference of squares. We have u squared minus one squared. So we can then use the difference of squares formula. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll factor the right hand side as u plus one multiplied by u minus one. We can now square both sides of the equation to get rid of the square root. So we now have a much more manageable equation. To further simplify, on the left hand side we have 1 plus u cubed. But 1 is exactly equal to 1 cubed. So on the left hand side we have a sum of cubes of 1 cubed plus u cubed. So we can factor this by the sum of cubes formula. So we go ahead and factor the left hand side. Let's now bring everything over to the left hand side. Now notice that we have a factor of u plus 1 on the first term on the left and we have a square of u plus 1 on the second term. So we can take a factor of u plus 1 from both terms. So let's go ahead and factor u plus 1. We have u plus 1 multiplied by u squared minus u plus 1 and then we want to subtract this u plus 1 multiplied by the square of u minus 1. So we just need to do some algebra here. We're going to expand the square term. So we have the square of u minus one. So let's expand that out. That'll be u squared minus two u plus one. We then need to distribute u plus one. So we multiply every term by u, we multiply every term by one, and then we add these together. So we're going to end up with a lot of terms. But don't worry, we'll get some simplifications here. We have negative two u squared plus u squared which will simplify to be minus u squared. And then we have a plus u and a minus 2u, which will end up being minus u. So we can rewrite these terms. We now have minus all of these terms. So let's just change the sign of each of these terms. So we have minus u cubed plus u squared plus u minus one. Then this minus u will cancel with this plus u. And this plus one will cancel with this negative one. So this all works out to be 2u squared minus u cubed. And we want to multiply this by u plus 1. This is all equal to 0. So we're ready to solve this equation. From 2u squared minus u cubed, we can factor a u squared. So we have u squared multiplied by 2 minus u. We now have the product of three terms is equal to 0. u plus 1 multiplied by u squared multiplied by 2 minus u. So at least one of these terms has to be equal to 0. So we either have u plus one is equal to zero, u squared is equal to zero, or two minus u is equal to zero. From the first equation, we get that u is equal to negative one, but remember that u cubed was equal to x. So if we cube both sides of the equation, we get that u cubed is equal to x, which equals minus one. Remember, we need to solve for x ultimately. In the second equation, we have u squared is equal to zero, which means u is equal to zero, and so x is equal to the cube of that, which equals zero. In the third equation, we have that u is equal to two, which means that its cube is equal to x, which equals eight. So we have three possible solutions. x is equal to minus one, x is equal to zero, and x is equal to eight. But don't just write down these as the answer yet. Since we squared a radical equation, we wanna make sure we didn't end up with any extraneous solutions. So we go back and substitute into the original equation. So let's take x is equal to minus one, we will substitute this in. One minus one is equal to zero. So we have the square root of one plus zero, that'll be one. And then the cube root of negative one is equal to negative one. So this first equation is one is equal to minus one. This is an extraneous solution. So this will not be a solution of the original equation. Let's substitute x is equal to zero. We have one plus the square root of one minus zero. So that will simplify to be one plus the square root of one, which is one. So we have the square root of two on the left-hand side and the cube root of zero on the right-hand side, and that'll be equal to zero. So we have the square root of two is equal to zero, 
That's obviously a false statement. So this is another extraneous solution. So we're left with x is equal to 8. We substitute this in. So now 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. Then we add 1 to that, so we'll have the square root of 4. That'll be equal to 2. And on the right-hand side, we have the cube root of 8, which is equal to 2. So we have the square root of 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. And that works out to 2 is equal to 2. And this is a valid solution. So x is equal to 8 is the unique real solution to this equation. Wow! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.